guys, it's Beth here and this is the first episode of Charity Shop Finds. Now, usually I don't have much luck with charity shops, but um, I have recently, so I decided I'd do a video because I feel like I've got enough stuff to show you. So, first off, I will start with the PSP game I picked up. This is Super Monkey Ball um, Adventure which I got for 99p, boxed and complete. Can't go wrong for a, for um, 99p really, so yeah, there we go. I think I said a pen, but it was 99p, stickers just there. So that's that one. Then I got Warrior Wear uh, Smooth Moves for a pound from um, St. David's. Boxed and complete. The disc is actually in mint condition as well, so really happy with that one. Then two original Xbox games. We have Halo Combat Evolved, again from St. David's, which was a pound. And Half-Life 2, which was 50p. That's box and complete. Disc is a little bit scratched, but it should work. Then that's boxed and complete as well and as you can see this is the not for resale version for some reason but the disc does look official um, I did have a look on the back and um, it's got like the Xbox thing around the rim so I think it's official uh, even if it's not it's only a pound so that's that one then um, there's Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games which I actually got from for free from a charity shop boxed no manual disc is in there but the disc is scratched to I don't know what it's just really badly scratched so I don't think that's gonna work but it was free so it's worth a gamble I could try and clean it up and see if it works now the two best finds we have a copy for the PlayStation 1 of Crash Bash. Absolutely awesome game. Really happy to find this. This was literally a pound. Uh, it sucks it's the platinum version, but still really good for a pound. It is Boxton Complete. Again, the disc is a little bit scratched, but this one's this one looks like it'll still work, so that's fine it looks like it'll work so lastly I came across some uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color games so I was really happy about this find there was a really nice guy in uh, one of the charity shops by me and he actually got this from out back for me which I was really happy about sadly there's no Game Boy or Game Boy Color with it but I got this Mad Cat's case, which is actually a bit dirty, it needs a clean. Then there was this, which is the like uh, magnifying. magnifying glass, but sadly it's broken and corroded inside. There's no way that thing is gonna work, so that's probably just gonna go in the bin. I did, however, get one of these um, leads, which is for I believe this is one of those leads that you could use on Pokemon games where you could trade um pokemon and do battles with your friends this looks in fine condition like it still works so that's cool to find one of those i i don't actually own one so that's kind of nice then i got a total of seven games well technically it's six and i'll explain why in a minute now some of these are actually american and some are not american but since the game boy and game boy color i believe region free it doesn't really matter they still work and first we have Bugs Bunny Lola Bunny got focus then Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Austin Powers My Underground Lair I think they are all um, pal by the way those three we also have Donald Duck uh, Donald Duck Quack Attack which again is pal then we have 
Disney's Tarzan, this is American as you can see by the symbol here, but it is official, works great. Then the main reason I picked this whole bundle up was because I found Pokemon Yellow and I had to snap that up because I don't actually have this one in my collection. I think I have Red, Blue, Gold, Pokemon Pinball um, and I have some others as well, but I didn't have Yellow. But again, it's American. It is official though and it does work. So... And it has a working save, which is quite nice too. Um, so there's that. And then finally, the seventh game. This is Harry Potter 2 and the Sorcerer's Stone, which makes a whole lot of sense because, well, the Sorcerer's Stone was the first one and it's in Harry Potter 2 on it. And as you can see, the image looks a little bit dodgy. This is actually a fake cartridge it doesn't even fit inside a Game Boy or a Game Boy Color it's too small um, but this is the, out of the whole bundle that is the only fake one so that's not too bad not really interested in that game anyway like I said I picked it up for Pokemon Yellow I've tested all these and they are official I've even looked at the code to see if they are official um, but seven games six of which uh, work in and a Pokemon Yellow and I got the cable in the case. That was seven pound, guys, which I thought was a really good deal. I know that Pokemon's worth what twenty five, thirty, maybe even more on eBay. Um, the Crash Bash was a really good deal. That was a pound. That's probably worth about um, fifteen to twenty on eBay as well. So yeah, uh, the rest are all just relatively like cheap. They, they don't cost a lot anyway, but they're, they're always nice to add to my collection. Like I always say in all my videos, though, I won't sell any of this. They're all for my collection. So, yeah, excellent. Um, I'm surprised I picked up half this stuff from charity shops. It's really nice to actually find some good stuff for once. So, thank you, um, as always, for watching, guys. And I'll have my car boot video up, hopefully, soon. So, take care and see you on the next video.